In this week's Pick a Card Tarot reading, we have got a kind of a little bit of a quieter energy, which is not surprising after the last new moon. Hi and welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. Um, this last week, you know, we've had a new moon, which often makes people more introspective and it's a little bit of a quieter time than a full moon so this reading is actually reflecting that really well i've just shuffled the cards and laid them out in the three rows so if you haven't already please pick row one two or three i'll put an image up there and we'll look at where that leads so yeah it looks like an interesting week so as we look ahead to the coming week for row ones we've got the chariot for Monday and Tuesday which is actually quite a strong driven energy it's saying you can achieve what you want to have faith in yourself believe in yourself go for what you want don't hold back so the new moon is also a great time to build for the next cycle so this is really in alignment with that so whatever you've got your mind on you are wanting to get going with it and you are actually on the right track this influence is confirming that what you're going for is the right thing for you but as we look at the week as it progresses by wednesday and thursday we've got the seven of swords which is saying you might be sort of hanging back a bit thinking about things taking a little bit of time just to look at all your options and ideas and you're also kind of avoiding conflict or intense situations which is fair enough it just isn't a good time to hang around with people who like conflict or drama take some time for yourself and keep away from people like that on Wednesday and Thursday so for Friday, Saturday and Sunday we've got a bit more of an influence like that. We've got the Two of Swords which is also saying take some time for yourself. You know, don't get talked into doing things you don't want to do. <laughs> and just take some time for you. It just It's a very strong message that you're needing a bit of time for reflection, meditation. A bit of time just to connect with your own inner self and things like that. And that doesn't mean you have to sit there and meditate all weekend. You know, nature is a great place to reconnect and have some time out. So in a relationship, it's not saying that it's all bad, but you might just need a little bit of time to yourself. Um, so make sure you prepare for that, that you're not overrun with other people's demands all weekend because, yeah, it is a good time just to take some time for yourself. You're heading into a whole new direction. There are a whole lot of new projects and plans and ideas ahead of you. And sometimes we need to just kind of sit back and mull it over a little bit. And then you will start getting moving with it again. So, But don't overthink things. That's a little bit of a danger with these influences is that you could overthink what you're wanting to do and that's not going to help you just try and relax and trust that you know what you're doing and the universe is going to help you and bring you what you need to make that happen okay so for row two we've got a really creative energy for the start of the week we've got the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles is yeah very creative very much focused on something you're wanting to do create manifest in your life and that this is a brilliant time to be clear and on focus with that and these energies are very much in alignment with the new moon energy because we sort of go within but we also keep in mind what we're wanting to create in our lives and where we're going next in the next cycle so here we've got an energy of yes you're prepared to work hard for it but it's something you enjoy doing so it's a labor of love so to speak so focus on your own goals rather than everything else you should do. Put some energy into things you're wanting to work on that you're wanting to do and you're going to feel really, really good. And by midweek, you've got the Emperor. Wednesday, Thursday, you're feeling pretty strong and pretty much on top of things. So 
in charge of your life that's a good way to put it if this was an outside person it could be somebody trying to control you so do keep an eye out on that but I feel it's more likely that you're going to be feeling strong and certain of what you're doing and where you're going and you're not going to let people kind of bully you or push you around so yeah that looks really really great so for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Hierophant or the Priest, as some people call it, which is probably easier to pronounce. Um, and that's looking at your spirituality, your values, what's important to you. You're very much in alignment with that this weekend. Don't let anybody try and push you into doing things that feel wrong to you. Trust your own inner guidance, your own inner instinct with that. Also, you may have an opportunity to teach or share something that will help somebody else at this time so somebody might come to you for some advice or some guidance and you've certainly got some good advice to give and some sound guidance so do go for that but it's really also looking at what's right don't try to push for the more unconventional or <laughs> controversial things over the weekend it's a time to just Take one step at a time and fully have faith in what feels right and what feels like it's the right thing for you. So very, very strong influences for row two saying you know what you're doing, believe in yourself, don't do things that don't align with your values and who you are and don't let other people bully you into making you do things that, that don't feel right to you, you know. Um, sometimes at work and in jobs, people, you know, get pushed into doing things that really feel very, very wrong to them. I had a job like that years ago. I didn't last. And it was selling some terribly expensive pet food. Very, very expensive. And I had to go into shopping malls and have a table and a display and give little packets out to people. And it really... I couldn't do it because the people who were prepared to spend that much money on their pets, and it really was very, very expensive, were mostly pensioners who didn't have a lot. And I thought, well, we're going to go without so that their pet can <laughs> eat this crazy expensive pet food. And I just walked out. At the end of the day, I said, no, I can't do this. I don't feel good about it. So, yeah, you're going to need to find somebody else. So that's just an example. But, yeah, don't let people talk you into doing things you don't believe in. You know, it needs to be right for you. It needs to feel right for you. And then you'll feel good about yourself and strong about yourself. That can be in relationships too, you know. Um, sometimes people have different ideas about relationships and what's okay and what's not okay. You know, if a person who likes open relationships gets together with somebody who wants commitment and monogamy that's not going to work <laughs> but that doesn't mean that the person who wants monogamy needs to change it just means that they might be with the wrong person so you know that's what I mean by values by what's right for you at your core essence so yeah you're very strong in that and that's going to be tested a little bit this week but you're on the right path, have confidence in yourself, you've got some really good times coming up with projects of your own, so don't let anybody sidetrack you or derail you. Okay, so for row three, we've got the Hermit <laughs> on Monday and Tuesday, which is also a time of reflection, and going within and finding your own answers, your own inner wisdom, it doesn't mean you have to literally be a Hermit, you might just need a little bit of quiet time um, rather than being around people all the time. Um, and also, yeah, trust your own answers rather than everybody else's. Just because somebody else thinks something doesn't mean it's right for you. Their opinion comes from their perception and their own experiences. So, yeah, trust yours. Trust what feels right to you. You know what's right for you. So don't let people talk you out of it. It's very very important influence in all three rows this week is to stay really strong in what's right for you and what feels right for you so by Wednesday and Thursday we've got the six of Pentacles which is sharing caring it looks like a good time to be around some good people <laughs> who get you who support you who back your ideas and back you up 
<clears throat> and encourage you. And so you've got some good people around you midweek, and that can be your partner, your friend, your sister, your mother, whoever's got your best interest at heart. Spend some time around them. It's going to give you a huge boost midweek. So very, very positive for connections and relationship um, Wednesday and Thursday. So for the end of the week, for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the Two of Wands, which is looking forward, being excited, being... Oh gosh, I thought I'd hadn't turned the microphone on there for a minute. Uh, I've done that before and you do the whole video and nothing records. Anyway, so the weekend is looking forward, looking at your plans. The plans are really a big focus this week for everybody. Um, you're feeling pretty clear, pretty certain of yourself. You've got a good idea of what you're wanting to create in your future. Um, go for it, be confident in what you feels right, even if other people think it's a bit out there. I mean, I do readings for people who have some pretty big dreams, pretty big goals. And they need to go for them because otherwise they will always wonder what if, you know. What if isn't a good way to go through life. So whatever your dreams and goals are, please keep moving forward with them. Keep going for it. People achieve amazing things in life and so can you. That is the message here. And it's also saying there's some good people who are going to support you on this journey. Um, it's about caring, sharing, networking, but also, yeah, keep your focus on where you want to go, not where you've been, okay? Strong message. Don't spend the weekend looking at the past. Spend the weekend looking at the future and have some fun and get out there and get around some motivated people because that will really keep you going. So this week is incredible from what I can see here. Everybody's on a really good path. Um... Everybody's got some goals, some dreams, some ideas, and that doesn't mean you have to make it all happen next week. You know, long-term goals are a good thing too, something you can work away at. Um, yeah, it looks good for connections and relationships this week. There doesn't seem to be any big conflicts or dramas. It's, it is saying keep out of those sort of situations, which is always good advice. Um, yeah, so it looks like a brilliant week. The energy is building again. It's time to get moving on the next cycle. So anyway, I wanted to say thank you for the feedback and ideas I got last week after my discussion about what I was going to do with my channels. I still haven't fully figured it out. I'm not going to stop doing pick a card readings. I just wanted to shift how they're organized. <laughs> the different kinds of content I make but I don't want to start another channel either because I already have two YouTube channels and that's really enough I am going to keep go doing them I'm most likely go going to leave them on this channel and maybe start something else for my other content I'm not sure but I'm not stopping doing them I'm just going to yeah, think about how I'm structuring it and what's going to happen with it so yeah yeah so i'm not going to stop doing them so don't panic about that um i just haven't quite worked out how i'm going to make the different content on my channel work together a bit better so anyway lots of love to you all and have a fantastic weekend and week lots of love to you all and see you next time